It's no secret that footballers bring home big bags of money. They don't always spend it on the smartest of things, though. Could it have to do with having too much of it, which sometimes leads to reckless decisions? Here are 10 times footballers blew their money on something ridiculous. Number 10. Didier Drogba Drogba saw a chance to make more money back in 2013 when he invested in a struggling gold mine in the Ivory Coast. He bought a 5% stake, which cost him roughly $18 million. Suddenly, things didn't exactly go according to plan, and he sold his stake in 2019 for $15 million, losing $3 million in the process from his initial investment. Sometimes it's best to stick to football. Number 9. Soli Muntari Muntari was making big runs when he was playing for AC Milan, taking home a cool $3.3 million a year. He decided to spoil himself with some wheels and purchased a Mercedes Brabus G63 for $900,000. It's indeed a beast of a car, but it didn't make much sense since the roads in Europe are relatively small. He didn't even get the chance to enjoy riding his fancy vehicle in Milan. He drove it a few times in Ghana, but what was the point since he was living on a whole other continent? Number 8. Wayne Rooney Wayne Rooney has not always made the smartest decisions when it comes to cash. Even he has admitted that when just starting out his career, he had a bit of a gambling problem and once blew over $641,000. His reasoning was that he needed a pastime while he was relaxing on vacation. I mean, there's a lot you can do on holiday, but gambling on your phone is probably not the best idea. Number 7. Zlatan Ibrahimovic Ibrahimovic regularly describes himself as a god, and this next purchase absolutely reflects that. Hebrew bought a church for $12 million, but it wasn't exactly for religious reasons. He converted the church into an apartment building thereafter, which cost him even more money. He could have just taken the usual path and purchased a residential property, but perhaps he wanted a house fit for a god. Number 6. Neymar Jr. Who could forget when Neymar broke the internet back in 2017 when he moved to PSG with a huge pay increase? Since then, the Brazilian has been living large, buying expensive vehicles and throwing massive parties. He went as far as building an entire artificial lake on his property in Brazil, which definitely cost him a pretty penny. Unfortunately, it made her now to be a huge waste of money, as he has recently run into issues with the authorities. He has been fined $3.3 million for the offense and may even have to get rid of the lake. Number 5. Lionel Messi Pretty sure everyone has a story about a rowdy neighbor who kept them up at night, even Leo, when he lived in Barcelona. Messi showed his neighbor, whose boss, by buying their entire property, to force them to move out. This grand purchase cost him a approximately $6.4 million. The purpose of this was so that he could have some peace and quiet. You'd think maybe some new cancelling headphones would have done the trick. But hey, who says money can't buy you happiness? Number 4. Erling Haaland Before Haaland made his highly anticipated move to Manchester City, he had to mark the occasion with a grand gesture. He bought all 33 of his teammates' custom-made Rolex watches at $15,000 each. Not only that, he also bought custom-made Omega watches for Dortmund's backroom staff, which cost him $7,000 apiece. That puts him at a total of over $500,000. Talk about making a statement. Number 3. Cristiano Ronaldo So this one is still in the works. But Cristiano Ronaldo has recently grown tired of a local newspaper in Portugal. The tabloid is constantly writing stories about his personal life and he's sued them repeatedly, but they just won't quit. So, in an attempt to stop all the gossip, Ronaldo is reportedly set to buy the newspaper for an undisclosed amount. I think we can safely assume that undisclosed puts us somewhere in the six or even seven digits range. Many thought he was unfazed about the gossip, but it doesn't quite look like it. Hopefully it's worth it. Number 2. Kevin Prince Boating Boating is known for his flashy lifestyle, but he made some silly decisions, to say the least, while he was at Tottenham. He once bought three cars in one day just to cheer himself up. Since he wasn't in the squad most of the time, he bought a Cadillac, a Lamborghini and a Hummer, all ridiculously expensive luxury cars. Boateng later admitted that his excessive purchases didn't buy him happiness. He was still so young at the time, so definitely made some mindless financial decisions. His current 
current net net worth of over $25 million, however, seems to show he has learned from his mistakes. And finally, number one, Jibril Sisse. When Sisse was 23 years old, he settled with his family in Cheshire and got himself a title. And not the title you'd think. He bought a rich manor, a grand house in Frodsham, for $2.5 million. This dubbed him and his former wife, Jude, the lord and lady of the manor of Fra. Not that it really mattered, as nobody actually calls him that. And to top it all off, he doesn't even live there anymore. So, we've wrapped up our look into footballers who wasted their money stupidly. You don't believe how some players blew their fortunes, huge mansions and flashy cars, crazy stuff. Before you head off, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Stay tuned to Prestigious Sport for more on our favorite footballers' adventures. Got a player we missed? Drop their name in the comments. Check out more awesome content right here. Remember, managing money is just as important as scoring goals. Thanks for watching, keep those likes coming, and catch you next time on Prestigious Sport.